I will Curses play Kel'Thas if it becomes opportune. If they don't have a Nubarak. You know I would never uh, take Kel'Thas for a request for you as a misdraft. So let's see how the, the drafting goes. Otherwise, uh, I owe you one. Fuck. Because I wanted to see if I uh, can do the draft. The good draft. Maybe I carry it over to second or third. Um, what was I saying? Yes. So, and if Probius cannot land either of those quests reliably, then you go for a Q. The Q build. We didn't ban a Nubarak. Wow. Larbert's gonna take it. He is a trier, which is throw. a compliment, even though I hate him right now. And I hate Timeless right now for not banning a Nubarak. I'll go with Zarya. The reason is, he's thinking of Greymane, they pair up well, Gr uh, Zarya instantly burns down a Nubarak's cocoon, because her attack speed is 4 per second, so in 2 seconds I burn down the cocoon. That's nice. Secondly, a Nubarak is more... A Nubarak is more uh, vulnerable to auto attacks like Greymane and Zarya can bring. Also, when opponent has a Nubarak, he is very likely to cocoon enemy support if there is solo support. So if you don't have someone like Zarya, Tyrael, Tassadar, or Medivh, you are less likely to survive a bursty fight. Because he will cocoon your support and it's like, okay, shit, we have no protection. So I love taking secondary protection when opponent has a Nubarak. Though I prefer banning a Nubarak. They have Illidan and Karazim. Karazim puts Earth Ally, which is a uh, auto attack block, which is pretty strong against Greyman and Zarya. So it will be my job in team fight one to break cocoons, two to use my grenades to kill the Earth Ally as fast as possible, so that Greyman and I can become efficient again. I like the Lily support. It counters auto attacks really well, all of which these three have really good damage in. They are very auto attack reliant, specifically Illidan Karazin. So Lily is an excellent choice. ETC is a nice reliable stun on Illidan, plus the potential mosh pit. Though I do worry about ETC's uh, heroic. If he goes stage dive, we lack a frontliner for the second or two that he is in the air. If he goes Mosh Pit, a Nubarak has three ways to interrupt Mosh Pit. And even if he tries to Mosh Pit and a Nubarak is inside, Karazim can use seven sided cold. strike to blow ETC up faster than me. you can say oopty poopty pants. Li Ming is a smart choice because Wave of Force can interrupt Mosh Pit as well. Good poke damage, good single target damage, and ETC's movement is fairly predictable. Power Slide forward, Mosh, or Power Slide forward, do stuff. Easy for Li Ming to hit. Artanis, that's a poor pick, kind of. He does get the blind ult, which is very useful against Greyman and Zarya. But Artanis tends to have difficulty backing off. And we do have good damage. I war Ar he they do get the uh, uh, they do get the potential I to do a swap, and that can be absolutely devastating on Lily, Nazivo, or even ETC or myself. Uh, so Artanis definitely a possible playmaker here, although I do think that it's not the best pick here. Specifically their draft lacks poke damage mitigation. They only have Karazim as a support and they do kind of tend to clutter together because they got 4 melee. But it can still be hard for Karazim to out heal everything. Uh, in terms of what poke we have, pretty good one actually. We've got Greyman poke with cocktail. Zarya poke with grenades. And we've got Nazibo poke with spooters. Hey, Here's some change for those viewers who didn't have change, if you remember. 
I remember last night and it was beautiful. I mean, no, Chong, and you were a huge part of that. Thank you very much. I need grubby analysis in mid-season brawl. No problem. I'm doing analysis all mid-season brawl. So glad to hear that. Thank you. Um, so they maybe would have had better use of a secondary support instead of Artanis. But at the same time, they do have a very strong diving team with a lot of crowd control. We shall strike now I need to make a difficult decision. I can go Demolitions please, Expert for more poke see. so we can buy time at the uh, tributes to interrupt over and over again. You do not but grenades are kind of hard to hit on them. Every member on their squad has a dash. Hidden has two, Karazin has two to three, the Ming has a teleport, Artanis has a Q and Anubrak has a burrow charge. Wishmonger, thank you very much. So I feel like Demolitions Expert is not as good here. Feel the heat though, it's supposed to be really good here. It's extra begin. damage against melee targets. I think I'm gonna go for that one. They have four melee, so I'm very likely to get value out of it. Feel the heat. A champion's reward. It's a Whitney Houston talent. I'm kind of sad because it's not a quest, but at the same time, Globe quest is difficult to hit on this map, but secondarily, um, maximum charge, yeah, maximum charge is a globe quest, which is kind of difficult to hit on Cursed Hollow, uh, because uh, the lanes are so far apart, so you're very unlikely to get uh, you know, double value. Oh, he sees me in the bush, lol. Uh, and the alternative is uh, Demolition's Expert. It's also a quest. A bit easier to uh, actually achieve it. Bring it. Thank you, Lily. I was boring. Look at the damage. Why not? Ready for battle. Ready for action. That was some serious damage on uh, Illidan. He did I not expect that. Or maybe he did expect it. Zarya is also very good against Li Ming because her skill shots you. are easy to see coming. I am shield. We don't have anyone mid right now. I will enjoy this. You want to take this milk cake? I was born in battle. Choose a talent. I was born in Hero. battle. Gather tribute and earn my favor. I will get I am the strongest because no matter what, I must stand still and kill people. Uh, if we are two versus three here, the delay, the, the delay is acceptable. Taktoshna. I will break you. Show me what you got. I should have eaten that one. They still have siege top. We must send them out aggressively. Which includes uh, chasing away Ming from up there. good to get value out of the siege camp. We must remove Li Ming from this very irritating position. I was born in battle. I am shield. 
The siege is getting so much value, but we've gone too far to back off now. Huh. Why not? Well done by Nazibo too. Oh, nice. Oh, close. My god, this took a long time. Siege killed a fort. Alert the navy. Greetings, friend. Thanks for all the great content. My pleasure. Choose a talent. They did so well, man. I will break you. So irritating. I get explosive barrier. Yep, we lost the fort. Why not? I'll go tap. Or oh, whatever. We lost the fort, but our XP is looking good. Oh no. I won the attack. <laughs> a good strike. <laughs> ah, explosive barrier, feel the heat. That was probably my coolest Zarya moment ever. I was born in battle. This build so good against this uh, against this one. I was born in battle. Oh, cool! We got we also got uh, toad build. It's so good against. Uh... I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather tribute, earn my favor. It's, it's so good against their front line. Okay. Uh, do I go Graviton Surge or Expulsion Zone? Both that could be quite nice. But they all have dashes to get out of it. I'll get Expulsion Zone. Bonus damage, I guess. Oh, well, they did uh, get expulsion zone. level 10 as well he got his toad quest complete grayman is clearing top it's great our heroics is jokes mush pit cursed bullet gargantuan and of course my expulsion zone i will break you oh no Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? Uh, still ahead in XP. Never got to use Mosh Pit. Awkward positioning. Karzim nearly killed himself. Oh, he did die, didn't he? How did I kill Karzim? Yeah, I think Earth allies. Oh, nice! Oh, Wave of Force was too late. Oh, no. very nice, very nice. The hunt at melee. Well played. Oh, you missed the power slide. And now he's dead too, and you're rockly Ming. No, Jukes can help him. Okay, very good, very good. They got the thing. I think it's time to do this one, maybe. It is on stream, so it's kind of risky. I'm assuming we're, we're both going to be doing boss. I won't be attack. Oh, 
Ready for action. Go. I'm sworn in battle. That touch me. Let me go in. Gather tribute or face my curse. That is not a good the tribute location. We don't want to give curse during this, so we're just going to ignore boss. They will ignore ours and we fight over tribute. I'm going to tap. We do have a lot of poke. And we're getting level 13. She's a talent. Should have just eaten it. Um, I am healed. It comes to energy. Take the pain. This fire is on you. Go. <laughs> I will enjoy this. Uh, so useful, pa uh, pain is temporary. They thought that I'm dead, and then suddenly I was not. Surprise! Ready for action. Yeah, that's true. That's the call. I was thinking, what should I do? This one's already dead. The wave is whatever. Like, yeah, it's one and a half wave, but we can get a fort here. He's dead too. My favor. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we didn't win this one, right? Well worth it. But he can buy enough time, I think. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe yes, maybe no. What a strange fight. Okay, we get cursed. That's fine. Bosses are not available. We got decent D push. We're still a little bit ahead in XP. They lose a bunch of XP actually. Ah, he's good. Maybe Lily can help him. Wait, he's not dead because the hunt was not in range. Good. Why not? We can still defend mid, actually. Uh, we've got position on bot defense. What can they actually do? The swap for runes. Oh no, I messed up my expulsion zone. And we didn't defend the keep. If uh, if if Greymane stayed there, that would be better. The fort was destroyed. Uh, one person had to stay bot. They failed to realize this. We took too much damage on keep. I'm gonna let this footman kill more if I can. Uh, gain train. And so the curse ends. Perhaps you will realize its value. Yes. I am healed. Oh, anyone want to help out? Acknowledged. There is no pressure to have to do crazy plays. Let Nazibo stack to his heart's content. Did Li Ming play orb build? Yes, full orb build with glass cannon. Let's get going. Hmm. Why not? Thank you. 
for action. I will enjoy this. Much better. Greetings, friend. Grubby, you've helped me remain positive even when we're losing. I've won a ton of games I, I thought I would lose battle. just by encouraging everyone. Please grow a moustache again. Lol. No. No, no, no. I think our friend could use some help. I will okay, break we're on time. You are not prepared! Out of the way! Good form! Sick! Can we like heal up first? I will break you. Well done. Your enemies shall be weakened. Let them fall before you. Acknowledged. Oh, anyone want to help out? They're back already. We need to start it now. Or engage on me. is over. I hope you made the most of it. Yeah, we're closing in on 20, it's true. No need to stay here, but we do need boss control. But if they're gonna split like this... Twenty, still DRE, still same OG, still GG, well played. Ready for Radius and energy. Hmm. Why not? Unyielding defender, that's nice. We got vile infection, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Ready for action. I'm on the attack. Who wants to take this perfect? Huh, I know. One hundred percent. 
We need to freaking punish this lame Li Ming. Nice. This freaking Li Ming with her glass cannon. Such a lamer. Yeah, we can just end it now. We don't need boss. The choice is simple. Cool game. Glass cannon orb build. Get the frack out of here. Ignore, ignore. Nice. Uh, I just want to say that this that Lily, although he plays a simple character, he played it well, very well, and he shows a lot of like uh, high-level experience and mechanics that many Lily pickers would dream about. Virtual was ranked one Lily before, and uh, I think he did really nice. So did he. Very. I really want to commend Lily on the fact that every time before I even thought about it, sometimes he thought I will take some damage on purpose, like in laning to give you shields on your Zarya. That was awesome, love it. Secondly, Opadopa. I wanna commend him for his talent pick. Going for full frog build, besides the fact that HGC China does that sometimes, so it's like, okay, there is some example in pro play right now where you can do that. Uh, just the fact that it's really the right situation against their team. You get more totes, you get bigger and more damaging totes against the team that has to hard engage into you lovely uh secondly blood ritual is a laning talent i wouldn't say that it's per se the best here but it's not the worst either when you consider that uh yeah big bad fudu would be quite nice i guess uh, what is the others the spider yeah he has no point of spider build so he decided not to go for a high max but for more in lane sustain i wouldn't say it's wrong or right it's just it just is gargantuan is the best superstition spell armor against uh, part of what Illidan does, the hunt, and also against Li Ming, but weaker against Artanis. Well, he, he's not going to get hit that often by any of them, actually. <laughs> we had a lot of protection on him, and his low death count shows that. Spider Colony is just the best at 16. He thinks so, anyway. Um, you know, even better than uh, the, the Harvest Souls, the spell armor. It's just a really solid talent, even if you have no synergy with it. And then Vile Infection. It was a cool build. Encore, imposing presence, definitely anti Illidan. Love it. And overall, a uh, cool game. I really like this talent tree as well. I can't think of a situation where I've seen better use out of it for myself, anyway. Getting the uh, bonus damage at melee, <clears throat> exploding shields, bigger shields, extra shields, extra shields, and extra shields. Never even had to use Unyielding Defender, but there you go. Awesome. Soul Harvest is spell power, not armor. Yeah, I know that. Maybe I misspoke. I, I do know that. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing left. Your killing spree is over. Double whammy. Hat trick. Very nice fight. Oh shit, it's not done yet! Ah! Nice. No! <laughs> Quintuple whammy though. 